I think it's easier to just learn the style and learn how to do it yourself versus paying for it. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby if you're new. By the title of this video, I'm pretty sure you're here to get some good information on passion twists. So I'm gonna dive right into it and tell you guys what I think. I'm gonna start off with the cons of this hairstyle because I feel like a lot of people start their videos off talking about the pros and I feel like the pros are kind of obvious. So I'm gonna dive into the cons. The first thing is I wouldn't pay for this hairstyle. I wouldn't pay for this hairstyle because it doesn't take long to do and it doesn't last long either. A lot of people try to charge a couple hundred dollars, like 150 to 250 dollars, it ranges, to do this hairstyle. And I think that has a lot more to do with the popularity of the style than the actual labor that it takes to do the style. If you're looking for a hairstyle where you feel like you'll be able to wear for three plus weeks and rock for a long time and it's still gonna look good, this hairstyle is not it. Senegalese twist you can probably have in your hair for a longer time because your hair is tucked as you twist down with passion twist it's not the same because this is more of like a boho free form type of style although you are twisting the hair down there are some that can probably like open up or be a little bit looser than other twists in your hair so your hair is kind of just flowing everywhere and it's not exactly a style that's meant to last long along with the pricing of getting the style done the cost of the hair can also be expensive and I think it's something that we should also consider when trying this style out. Um, some places do provide the hair in the price of getting the style done but in many cases that is not always true. Um, if you're using like free tress water wave hair, that hair is like, I don't know, it can range between 5 to $10 per pack. And if you're using a whole bunch of packs of hair, that can equal to almost $100 on just using, just buying the hair. Fortunately, I was able to purchase a different type of hair, which I don't know the name. I know it's the Janet Collection Water Wave Passion Twist Hair. And it brought three different packs for $10. And that worked out perfectly because I only used, I bought three of those three pack bundles. So I ended up using of those 369 I think I only used about seven packs of hair for this style but if you're using different brands or your beauty supply store doesn't have the hair that you need it can become a little pricey I think it's easier to just learn the style and learn how to do it yourself versus paying for it another con that I have with this hairstyle is for me I just don't think that this is as protective as other protective hairstyles are I say that because a lot of times when you're twisting your hair, like as you can see right here, your hair starts to pop out. If you're looking for a style that will protect your hair and put your hair away and won't have your hair sticking out, this wouldn't be that, which is why I don't think it's protective. I would consider a protective hairstyle to be something more like box braids or um, crochet styles where your hair is kind of like tucked away and put away. This I don't think is a protective hairstyle. Now getting into the pros of Passion Twist, obviously it's a super, super cute hairstyle. Like I love this. I love it and I love that you can go short with it, you can go long with it, you can go big, you can go small, you can do so many different things with Passion Twist. The hair is really lightweight. Like the fact that I can have my hair up and my head is not leaning back and weighing down says a lot. Currently I have, I think, between 40 and 45 twists in my hair in which I use two strands of hair per twist and still the hair is super lightweight, super bouncy, really flirty, cute and curly. I love that. I love it. And then lastly, I would say that I like the fact that it's a good hairstyle for temporary times. My initial plan in doing this hairstyle was for travel purposes this weekend and I knew I didn't want to have the hairstyle in for a month so I was like you know what let me just quickly do some passion twists because I know it'll last me about a week or two if I wanted it to last less I can do that and it'll just be a cute look to take on with me for the weekend. Alright so I really hope that these tips, pros, cons, whatever you want to call them, were helpful for you guys. At the end of the day, I do feel like the hairstyle is pretty much preference. 
if you like it and you want to try it i will definitely try it do it yourself watch a couple of videos if you're interested in seeing how I completed this same style using the rubber band method, then go ahead and just click the i card above. I also plan on sharing with you guys how I achieve these passion twists that I currently have. These are a bit bigger and longer than the video that you'll see. I did initially film a video when I was doing this hairstyle, but all of my files were deleted, so I did cry myself to sleep that night. <laughs> it was so bad. But I do plan on taking out a few and showing you guys how I achieved these passion twists. I do feel like these will last a little bit longer than my last ones did, and I learned a lot this time around, and I'll be sharing all of those tips in that video. So, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!